Let me just rip that band-aid off. I deleted my botanical garden island. Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I know I've got some explaining to do. It's been a little quiet around Calathea lately and then I just go and drop those news. So let's get into it. Over a year ago now, in April of last year, I started an island called Calathea. Initially, I wanted this to be my forever island, meaning that I would keep it even if it was fully decorated, and I would just adjust the decorations for different seasons, etc. And I was so excited for this concept because I'd been so focused on just the aesthetic decorating and restarting, and so were many of you. However, soon after, I started struggling, which you can see by how I named those stream bots. I Island struggles and construction side. We need to get inspired for this island. Map planning for my forever island. For some reason, the forever part just stressed me out, I think. Like it felt too permanent or like every step and every item had to be perfect. And the Calathea streams ended not too long after they started. The last one was in June of last year, so only two months after I had started the island. And then in July, I decided to change the concept and turn it into a very themed island after all. I would make it a botanical garden. The feedback that I got from you was mind blowing and it made me quite excited to keep trying and build more. And so quickly I had an entrance, this like research area and a shrub garden. And then it got quiet again. In December, I then posted another update and I told you about some map changes that I planned, like the fact that I wanted it to be an elevated walkway garden where a lot of the island would have second tier land bridges kind of looking on other areas. And then fully motivated by these changes, I uploaded a long play in January where I turned my nook's cranny into a botanical garden shop. And oh my god, the feedback and love on this format and video honestly came very unexpected, but it made me so happy and excited. Then, however, I decided to focus on finishing my Encanto Island first and pretty much lost sight of Calathea again. When I then locked back in, all I could see were all the wonky shapes of the landscaping, the things that I disliked liked about the island and all of the areas that I hadn't even worked on yet. I didn't even really decorate much at that point or try many things, but I just kept thinking and thinking about it. I felt so stuck and without inspiration and like everything that I had prepared and done on that island was still for a different island concept. And so after thinking about it some more, the next thing I did was delete the island. So now what? Now I would try again. Essentially, same island theme, but with a clean slate, a new island, a new name, a new everything. And with that, welcome to the humble beginnings of Oleander. Like I said, Oleander will hopefully also be a botanical garden island. We'll see how it goes. But for now, we're definitely going to think that. And we're also going to take a look at the map because that might be interesting, even though it's a giant mess right now. So as for villagers, I think the only ones that might actually stay are Ozzy, Pippi, Winnie. And then I do kind of like Antonio and I do really like Hazel. I just don't know if she's perfect for this specific theme, but I do really like her. I think all the others are probably going to go at some point. So the entrance actually has quite a few uh, elements from like the old entrance because I did like the um, like the bridge, the diagonal bridge there. I did really like that like Tory arch. So I wanted to keep that as an entrance to the botanical garden. And then also, you know, we do have the house here that's kind of like the ticket stand or some something like that. And we're also definitely keeping the gyroids. The gyroids like greeting you and explaining stuff and taking care of all the plants. We're definitely keeping that aspect. But there have also been a couple of changes. So first things first, resident services is now much closer. So you can now see it from the entrance. And then if you wake up, you can kind of immediately walk here. Second change, we don't have cars here anymore because I kept thinking like, wait, if it's an island and people go here, like just take the boat here to walk around and then whatever, then we don't need cars, right? So we don't have cars. We just have a couple of uh, parked bikes. What else? I'm using blue flowers now because because I thought they work really well with the with the path, which I've also started pretty much using from the entrance and will be using pretty much everywhere because I do really like this path. I think it's very pretty. And so I started using some blue flowers. All my flowers are now planted on these little dirt patches, which kind of explains why my map 
was, uh, yeah, so uh, interesting looking towards the entrance there. And um, I also started using some stone fencing because I felt like with the botanical garden that's like open to the public, a couple of the things would seem more like a, I don't know, communal vibe or like, you know, open to the public kind of stone fencing or there's like uh, some drink machines over there. We'll go there in just a second and things like that. So I'm kind of trying or experimenting with that a little bit. Um, this area over here, I kind of just started experimenting around and I'm trying to make this into like a little bit of a garden situation. This is, of course, where you wake up in a DA or where you would wake up, you know, if we actually finish this island <laughs> or upload, I guess. And then I think this will be kind of where we start elevating the entire thing. Maybe also just completely cutting this off so that in the dream, you'd have to go to the entrance first. And so I kind of just started on the outline for the cliff. We'll see how that goes. A big, big shout out to Boys Crossing who made these incredible signs. Uh, the website has not been updated just yet, but I hopefully will do that very soon. Um, but Boys Crossing has made all of these beautiful new codes and uh, some of them are these signs and they made me heckin' excited. So big, big shout out. Um, I obviously will be using them everywhere pretty much. And then you know what, from this little entrance moment here, also not all the tiles are filled. I'm not sure if maybe we're gonna actually keep that or if I'm just maybe waiting for the weeds to be replanted or something because you know, I want some of them to be taller or whatever, we'll see. I haven't really decided. And then let's go over here because I also decided to kind of rebuild the nook's cranny situation. So that long play I talked about, I took inspo from it like quite a lot. Now we actually have this little section here though with a little drink machine and ABD. And I think I'd like to include stuff like this a little bit more often, you know, like these official kind of spots where people can purchase something or there's like gonna be like garden benches, just kind of things to make it seem more like a botanical garden and not as much like a, a national park maybe. National park would maybe be the other option. Yeah, we have another gyro kind of explaining the ABD to you or whatever whatever he's doing, I'm not quite sure. Uh, we have one display of plants over here. We have one display of plants over here <gasps> and a double flower. Oh my God, I'm trying to show this island off. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Um, but yeah, and then another display over here, more gyroids kind of greeting you to Nook's Cranny, of course. Again, all the flowers are now planted on these little soil patches, which is, I don't know, I really like it. I think it seems so intentional and cute, but I really like it. You are also able to actually climb up here. So actually you can get a very similar view to before. Um, and again, I think I'm happy with it. I think I quite like it. And also, because I think some people said that under the long play, I decided to include some of the orange flowers because it obviously fits Nook's Cranny. And since we're a botanical garden and we'll have all sorts of plants and flowers, then I think there's no harm in matching the flower colors to the buildings, right? And I think I kind of like it. And then the other thing I did here, because my idea, my thought is that the Botanical Garden has the green mum as its like specialty flower. So every once in a while, <laughs> honestly, just when I don't know what else to put there, I might just do uh, a green mum moment like this. And uh, I kind of, you know, started plopping a couple of things around. There's still some custom designs I think I need, like underneath the shovel, I'd like to have a crack, or maybe I could have this like dirt patch or something, or maybe just grass or something else. But so far, I think this is mostly what I have. You can then go through the arch. This would be the official entrance into the garden. I have this tiny pond uh, from, I think the initial landscaping that I thought was quite cute. So I might keep that as well. And then I think we'll have the incline leading up up and everything else after is still a big question mark. And then I think final, final thing, I will just show you a glimpse of my code. So obviously I'm using this beautiful path right here. Uh, I'm using the pretty basic uh, dirt path, this like grass path. I've got some stepping stones, some leaves, these garden steps that I really like, some fabric coats. Pretty sure these are also by Boys Crossing. And then everything from this like wood sign uh, down here to this sign, all those are from the new collection by Boys Crossing as well. And this ticket thing, I think I just found on the custom design portal. I will definitely be updating my website. I can't promise that it'll be done by the time this video goes up, but I will definitely, definitely update it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Are you mad at me that I deleted Calathea? Do you think Oleander could, could have a chance also? And even more importantly, I would like the next video to be a long play on this island. So now I guess I'd be interested to know what would you like to see me work on? Would you like to see me work on kind of like 
this transitional piece or should I kind of just build up some cliffs and then focus on the next like actual area or should we decorate like all of this space here? Um, are there any specific things that you feel like I should definitely include on this island? Let me know everything. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments. I'm, yeah, I'm very excited to hear from you. I'm a little anxious too, because I don't know what you're going to say. I hope that you enjoyed today's video more or less anyway. And I thought it was about time to tell you what happened to Calathea, introduce you to Oleander and kind of, um, yeah, just give you an update, I guess. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. I would love to see you in the next long play. And then I hope that you have a fantastic time until I see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.